students see in our previous video we have discussed the preparation of chlorobenzene by a process called chlorination just let us recollect when we speak about chlorination or when we speak about alcl3 i have to remember alcl3 is a lewis acid or alcl3 is an halogen carrier it's going to pick up the halogen from there and fi finally the electrophile form would attack the benzene ring here also it's the same thing nothing to get confused i have, I have to do the bromination reaction pick up one benzene ring after you write the benzene ring it is weird so i have to draw it clearly so benzene ring yes this benzene ring i am going to add bromine atom because that is what i'm going to prepare right so to this bromine atom i'm going to add febr3 yes this febr3 same like this alcl3 is going to act as a lewis acid yeah so when this is acting as a lewis acid what product do i get yes earlier i got here i got chlorobenzene because alcl3 along with cl but here i'm supplying what bromine you're going to get bromobenzene plus hbr coming out this is your bromobenzene and hbr you have already seen in the previous reaction how did i get hbr so this is your benzene this is how you are going to write bromobenzene and finally finish up halo uh, or chlorobenzene is from here bromobenzene is from here yes so try to note it carefully thank you for watching yes let us come back to the third preparation of iodobenzene that is uh, from benzene it's the same procedure but you have to remember one important reaction in this mostly as we said chlorination you can obtain or you can prepare chlorobenzene from alcl3 bromination i can prepare from febr3 but remember iodination or iodobenzene can't be prepared directly let us see the steps why are we not preparing directly we will learn that also basically when i speak about iodination reaction i am picking up a benzene ring yes to this benzene ring because i have to prepare iodination or i have to do perform iodination i am going to add i2 to this to this i2 careful we are going to perform this whole reaction in the presence of hio3 what is hio3 hydro iodic acid hydro iodic acid why are we adding this hydro iodic acid we'll discuss in just 2 minutes so this hydro iodic acid when i add this the products which i get is iodo benzene careful yeah and your hi is out this is yeah hydrogen iodide hydrogen iodide yes this is the now basically what happens is this hydro iodic acid or iodination reactions are reversible reactions yes so what happens is this particular reaction again proceeds back it is a reversible reaction how much ever di uh, this direction it again reverses back and you get this benzene what should i do to prevent that that is the reason we add hydro iodic acid so first important thing let me write the question what is the role of hio3 in iodination reactions okay this is the question in iodination reactions what is its role what should i write first important thing remember iodination reactions are reversible reactions right what happens forward and backward but the required product what i uh, expect i am not going to get that required product so what should i do to this reversible reactions i have this particular hio3 what it does is it's going to combine with your hi when this is combining with hi iodine vapors are released and the leftover water molecule so what is this doing your hio3 is combining with your hi when it is combining with hi your iodine vapors are released out and the leftover water is formed so you are trying to control the reaction by preventing it from not going to the forward backward direction you are not allowing it to go to the backward direction you are restricting it to the forward because see look here i have combined both so 
indirectly your iodine vapors are released and the reaction proceeds forward so what is the answer what is the role of hio3 in iodination and you write it allows hio3 allows the forward reaction and hence iodo arenes are prepared this is the reason i add hio3 to the reaction so iodination never occurs in one step it occurs in one and this is your second step your answer should be complete